<sighs> Peace. Okay, so today is the 10th, and that is Knowledge Cipher, and I wanted to build on that briefly before I get some rest. Uh, when you look at Knowledge Cipher, knowledge is not only to know, but it's also awareness and consciousness. It's also the underlying significance that all things stand upon, and that's one reason why we call knowledge the foundation, because all things stand upon that. When you look at a cipher, cipher is any person, place, or thing, but it's also 360 degrees because it's a complete circle. 360 is understanding equality to the cipher. So when you say knowledge cipher, you're really saying you're striving to be aware or conscious of any person, place, or thing for what it is in totality because that's what a cipher is. Now, understanding equality of the cipher means that you have to have a balanced perspective. You have to see if what it is, not what it appears to be. And here's the thing. We come from usually a religious background or belief system that doesn't really encourage a person to have a scientific perspective or to be a critical thinker. Why? Because you look at the word science, the root of science comes from Latin and it's sire, which means to know. So in order for you to have a scientific approach, you have to be a scientist of life, meaning you have to be dedicated to the scientific method. And from a belief systems perspective or from a religious perspective, people are not being taught to approach things from a scientific perspective. Any belief system that you look at, any religious perspective that you look at has built in prejudices. It has built in likes and dislikes or slanted views when it comes to the science of everything in life. But if you're striving to be a scientist of life, you can't allow prejudices and likes and dislikes and slanted views to convolute or to cloud your judgment when it comes to assessing a person, place or thing. Here's an example. Imagine you were living in a tribe and you were going out hunting for a certain type of animal. And instead of taking a scientific approach or objectively putting together a hunting strategy, you are allowing your likes and dislikes or prejudices to get in the way of you creating the type of strategy to hunt that animal. So you're making statements like, well, that animal ugly anyway, or I don't like this and I don't like that, or I feel or believe that the animal is going to be over here by the water hole at this particular time because that's where I would be during this time. And you got all of these various different beliefs and views and likes and dislikes that you've allowed to convolute your strategy when it comes to hunting that animal. You ain't saying nothing about the gestation period or if they travel in packs or if they're solitary. You ain't saying nothing about their habits in terms of their diet or even the way in which they travel or their sleeping patterns. You're talking about some more other stuff. So what are the chances of a person actually being able to hunt that animal without taking that scientific approach? Very slim. It's the same thing with a person that has a plant-based diet. Suppose you go out here and you foraging for certain plants and you making statements like, well, the weather kind of cold, so I wouldn't be, you know, the, the, the plants ain't going to grow over here anyway. Or you have no knowledge of the planting or harvest seasons or you're not even checking out the geography or the landscape to find out which soil is is best suited for this plant to grow in or anything like that. Or even the relationship that these plants have to certain other plants and animals in that ecosystem. You making statements like, mm, I don't even like them plants anyway, or so-and-so likes them plants, or, you know, you're making, de determining the way in which you're going to forage for that food based upon likes and dislikes and beliefs and everything else. That's not scientific at all. So here's the thing. In order to gain knowledge of a cipher, it requires a scientific approach and it's challenging. You know, all of us have certain type of prejudices and likes and dislikes and slanted views about a lot of different things. And in order for us to see things for what they are in totality and to have a balanced perspective, because that's what understanding the quality of that cipher is, a balanced perspective. We have to be able to check our prejudices, check our likes and dislikes at the door and see it for what it is. Not what we hope it to be, not what we feel it should be, what not what we believe it should be, not what we like or dislike it to be. None of that. Just observe it. 
And one of the things that we teach at the 5% is we say that knowledge is to look, listen, observe, and respect. That is the proper attitude, the proper posture, the proper attributes or qualities to have when you're dealing with a scientific approach or using a scientific method when it comes to being aware or conscious of a person, place, or thing. And that is some things that we oftentimes have to learn because we're coming from a religious or a belief system background that's not teaching any of this stuff. You know? So, I will this was inspiring. It was empowering. It was educational. And I just wanted to share that before I get the rest. So, peace.